I'm back to Israel. No, I'm joking. Okay, listen to me, listen. I have so much to tell you. Okay, I don't have that much, but still I need to update you in things that happened to me in my life. I barely really upload or stream because I'm going through so much in life that you can't even imagine. Life is tough, you know, life is... Uh, <laughs> this is so awkward. This is such an awkward video. So, oh, so much to say. I'll tell you from the beginning. When I was born in 1998, no, I'm joking, no. I'm so funny. So in 2016, I went to the army, right? I served there for two years. And after the two years, after my service, I went to Canada for like two, three months, I don't remember. And then I went to Sweden. I lived with my roommate for six years, six months. I had to do an extension to Sweden. You can stay there for three months and I extended to six and it was all good. And I loved the life in Sweden, you know? I lived in the north, beautiful, very nice, good life, good people. I decided that I wanna live there forever. <laughs> Goodbye Israel. I'm leaving you, you shithole country, and I'm going to live my beautiful life that I deserve in Sweden. <sighs> After the six months of staying in Sweden, I'm in Israel right now. <laughs> yeah, hoo -hoo. but mm, only for a short time. I had meetings. Oh my god, if you hear birds, I'm so sorry. It's my mom's bird, so. They're just a tiff tiff all day. <laughs> so I'm gonna have a final interview in two days for the residency permit in Sweden. And I hope it's gonna be fine. I hope it's gonna go well. Um, I'll just be myself and I hope they like me. After the interview, I'm basically free to do whatever I want. I can leave Israel, go somewhere else. The answer to the residency permit is gonna be only in like 9-10 months um, you can never know, it can take 6 months and it can take 14 months they told me expect for like 9-10 months so it's fine I know it seems a very long time but it's really not because just for the USA visa just for the interview you need to wait 6 months just the interview <laughs> it's like it's, it's kind of normal like 10 months around that to get residency permit is very normal and it's fine I'm gonna be fine so the thing is that I have 10 months to spend right and I don't want to spend them in Israel living here I don't want that and I've been living without my parents for over two years now um, right at my birthday at 19 I moved out and it's been good I don't know I like it I you know it's either I live by myself or with roommates and it's fine I just don't like living with my parents it's weird I'm not a child anymore I'm independent strong woman but yeah, I have 10 months and what I thought was going to Sweden for 3 months and now I can only be there 3 months unfortunately because of the residency thing and all this stuff and uh, we're gonna see, I'll call them anyway later, maybe I can stay more but I'm not sure about it. But it's fine, I have plan B. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Sweden, three months. And then, after the three months, how much, uh, how many months I have left? Um, six, six, seven, right? Six, seven months. I wanna go to Georgia. <laughs> yes, Georgia, um, the, the country. Not the state, the country. The capital city in Georgia is Tbilisi. It's beautiful. I was in Georgia. It's amazing. It's just like the pictures. It's beautiful. It looks kind of like Prague, like Bulgaria, Estonia, Slovenia, Croatia, this kind of area, I guess East Europe. I'm not sure. And I like it. I mean, it's not a sketchy country at all. It's one of the safest, actually, when I went there. Um, the woman said um, the rules, the laws there are very strict so you can go to forest without anything happening to you and it's very safe when I was there like people were so nice no one is like sketchy or trying to 
take your money it's first of all it's a very cheap country too very cheap and you can get apartments for 150 dollars as well if you want in the capital it's a little higher than other places i want to be in the capital because <laughs> i'm superior traveling from place to place kind of cool so i'll have something to remember when i'm 80 i'll be like hello my kids you know me aha listen i was in the army then i went to this country this country this country listen i was like a bird you know but the thing is that i have no other choice now right i'm not gonna stay in israel because then i'll have to rent an apartment and work my ass off as a waitress why to pay over 700 dollars for a shitty apartment we think i'm stupid i can get in georgia for 100 what who do you think i am i can live a whole year in georgia at one price of one month in israel almost i did my research but i hope it's gonna be fine i hope um, georgia lets me get inside the country because it says in every site that i went to that you can go there for a whole year without a visa if you're from the 94 countries they wrote and israel is so i can be there if i get one year without a visa i mean what that's liberty wow that freedom but i hope it's really correct i tried calling georgian embassy they they're not answering so i don't know it's so many stuff i do want to stay in one place i don't want to just keep moving from here to there from here to there especially in canada i kept moving from city to city city to city province to province oh my god it's like ah huh? And my whole life I'm bringing with this luggage here and it's just I just want my place you know I want my property I want my apartment I, I just want to stay in one place and yes and stream whatever have fun I don't know but like moving and moving and moving and moving like ah oh. but I have right now yes I have to wait this like 10 months or however how much it's gonna take I hope it's gonna take as fast as possible i just want to be in sweden oh yeah a question that i get asked a lot i have a few questions that i get asked where is the money from how do you do that all right first of all i saved up money but it's not just that i spent money only on certain stuff i don't have passive expenses i don't have any liabilities i don't have any memberships like it all goes to um transportation food you know airplanes and um rent sometimes like if yeah like right now i've been living here for a week i think and i live with my mom so i don't pay rent right there i'm gonna pay rent but the rent is very cheap so it's fine i have to say twitch helped me so much with this what would i do without twitch i don't know like thank you for people who just support me on twitch when i stream it's like why me well i don't deserve it but you can't even even one dollar it's like i can buy a rice with that for a week you know like it for me it's like a lot it's like it oh my god help me so much like i ah uh, uh, thank you if you guys from my stream watching me um now uh you literally saved my life <laughs> no really like you fucking did not even kidding thank you without you it would be a lot harder for me a lot <laughs> it's fine but uh, like it's all spent on like good purposes i mean my residency the residency process costs money you know you just the application costs money and from here to there here today costs money and uh, yeah i'm kind of i'm kind of um spending money more than normal right now it's it's kind of important you know it's for important stuff it's like i know that now i'm spending money but then after i get the residency i hope so please god give me the residency it's gonna be like i won't need a lot to survive i won't i gotta like i'm gonna live in my roommate right and he likes to eat <laughs> he likes to eat the good stuff and i i don't care to eat rice with pasta my whole life with some soya butter you know like the small stuff but i don't care to live on pasta you know if in north korea they get paid in rice i can do that <laughs> no but it's like i don't i don't put my happiness on food you know when you eat good you have like you're happy right but it's like temporary and then you're like all normal and i don't put my 
happiness in this so I don't care I put my happiness in other things I don't know I have other hobbies and what is like huh so I don't care so I I can literally stack up a lot of food a lot of rice pockets and pasta and maybe some meat frozen meat and just be with that for months and months <laughs> but my roommate is more uh, ha, uh, how is it called spoiled so we're gonna see about that I'll have to brainwash him to do not eat <laughs> I'm joking whenever in the future I'm gonna buy an apartment so you have to pay monthly fee right and I won't need more than $150 to survive a month I won't need more than that so I, another question that I asked why don't you do anything with your life why don't you study why don't you work <laughs> I get asked that a lot all the time why don't you study why are you not part of the five night slavery system why are you not why are you not, not like all the other humans who work so hard and just spend all their money on stupid shit I mean 80% of Americans are in debt and I've seen this video where uh, 100 people if you've seen I think it's from Cut, the Cut channel so there's 100 people and they tell how much debt they have and there's this one girl who said she has $7,000 in debt and guess what she has on her head Balenciaga hat Balenciaga like and you have seven thousand dollars debt and you buy Balenciaga hat or even another girl she has over ten thousand dollars in debt and she buys a piano haha <laughs> uh, even though I'm in debt I still bought a piano haha <laughs> I don't even buy these things and I'm not in debt and in America I don't know there's like something with their credit score too uh, what that they need to like show that they're paying off everything or something I don't know like I have my um, credit card but I don't go through that and we don't have a debt in general like I don't know like don't you pay automatically why do I always talk finance fuck I need to stop talking finance people just work so hard they work their ass off but then you just spend almost all your money and you're still in debt on this stupid shit to impress people you don't care about in real life to impress steel workers why I mean it's I guess it's all like um, favorite list right some friends that i have said oh i wouldn't go to another country i know it's financially smarter for the long term but i have my family here in israel and i was like all right then you it's all like what you put first i guess right because i mean my family is always first right but if i have to sacrifice seeing them less right and being in a more stable better place for me i would rather go with the second option not everyone is like that i love my family and i call my dad almost every day i pour him i keep disturbing him at work like <laughs> he's he's at uh, surgeries and i'm like hi dad hi uh i'm, I'm in a surgery please <laughs> i need water but yeah, i hope it's gonna be fine it's all gonna be good right put everything in proportion you know sometimes i just stress about my stuff but i always calm myself down and say take everything in proportion you know there's sex traffic in india there's women getting sold and people getting kidnapped you know what what you're going through is like a privilege right for rich people's problems <laughs> i'm not rich but it's a phrase yeah i just wanted to share it with you because a lot of you don't know what I've been going through and I wanted to share it with the world to one to my millions of subscribers please subscribe <laughs> okay <laughs> um, yes that's all I want to say I hope you didn't get bored I just wanted yeah hi yes I don't upload I barely upload okay <laughs> see ya